My name is Jesse, and I'm a university student. I'm going to be graduating soon, and I'm thinking a lot about what to do with my future. And this is my girlfriend, Tina. She's three years older than me, who is a sophomore at university. Just about the time when I entered university, I saw her laughing with her friend on the university campus. It was love at first sight, and I ended up asking her out. At first, she rejected me because I was three years younger than her. I couldn't forget her though, and I asked her out six times. It took six months until she finally said yes. She's already graduated and is working now. I can only see her on the weekends. Even still, I really want to see her, so when I have the time, I spend most of my time with her. The thing is, I'm still a student, and I only have money from my part time job, which is not a lot. When we go out, we usually do things that don't cost too much, like go to the park or go walking. I feel really bad when it comes to dining out. I tell her that we should go somewhere expensive for a change. But she says, We can decorate grown ups when you start working. I respect my girlfriend so much. So after I graduate and get into a good company, I was thinking of proposing to her when the time came. However, Jesse, sorry, can you talk now? Yeah, what's the matter? Oh, is it about a date on the weekend? How about if you go to the movies for a change? It's about that. I can't see you this week. What? Why not? We can only see each other on the weekends. Did something happen? I'm sorry. What is it? I won't understand if you just apologize to me. What's the matter? Sorry, I want to break up. Wait, what? You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. I'm serious. What? What? What do you mean? You have to explain. Wasn't everything okay between us when we went out last week? You weren't acting like it, were you? Or did I not notice by any chance? Did I do anything wrong? No, it's me. It's my fault. Actually, a little while ago, I was asked to go to dinner by someone at the office. He's been working there before me. He's really good with his work. And he's nice and looks after his staff. I've been admiring him from before. But it really was just a feeling of admiration. I never wanted anything more than that. But then, he asked me to become his girlfriend. Since I'm with you, at first I turned him down. But after having dinner with him a couple of times, as I was spending a long time with him, I started thinking that he's such a wonderful person. Then, he asked me if I can be in a serious relationship with him. What's that all about? So that means you are cheating on me. I didn't mean to. It's true. But I guess it turns out that way. He said that he'll wait for me to break up with you. Of course. Going out with you, to parks and walking with you was fun. But he's employed and I feel grown up, so to speak. From the dates that he takes me to, it's different. I guess so. Weren't you happy with what I did for Christmas and your birthday? Yeah, I was happy with what you did for me. But he doesn't need to try so hard. He gives me presents for no reason. And he takes me out to dinner and stuff. These things matter to a woman. I can't believe this. It was a bit of a stretch after all. For a relationship to work out between a student and someone working. I think it would be more satisfying for both partners to be working. So you're saying that you weren't satisfied going out with me? I'd be lying if I said that I was. I'm working now. It's normal to want to have a relationship to a certain level, don't you think? We can date like grown-ups when you start working. You're the one who said those words to me. Was that a lie? That wasn't a lie. That's what I was thinking at the time. It turns out that you're going to choose a guy who's rich and is working over me, huh? I'm sorry. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. After you graduate and get into a good company, and you're ready to have a date as an adult to a certain level, let's meet each other again. What? Are you joking? I didn't think you'd be that type of woman. Don't be savage just because you don't have money. One day when you're compatible with me, come see me, okay? Give me a break. Don't ever contact me again. I was dumped like this by the woman that I was thinking of marrying. I was depressed enough that everyone around me would be turned off. I didn't care about what happened in the future anymore. I couldn't do anything. One day, Rick, who's in the same department, contacted me. We would just say hi whenever we bumped into each other. Apparently, he creates applications. I never knew because we never really talked. He was getting ready to do his own business. 
and he was looking for people to join the team. He asked me if I wanted to join the team at his company. I was dumped by Kina, and my vision of my future had fallen apart. I was hardly in a position to think about finding a job, so I decided to accept his offer. You never know what will happen in life. The company that Rick and I had started was a success. Three years later, I was promoted to president of the starting members. Although it's only been a few years since we started, I find my work challenging, and every day went by so fast. Just then. Jesse, it's been so long. It has been a while. It's me, Tina. Yes. You sound so formal. I was always thinking about you, Jesse. Is that so? And what can I do for you? You're so cold. Are you still mad? It's not that. How many years do you think it's been? Forget them. So I've heard. You're doing your own business now, huh? I heard a rumor that you're succeeding tremendously. I was happy for you and a bit proud. Is that so? You must be busy and you must be going through a lot. Yes, I'm very busy. So, if that's all you need, you'll have to excuse me. Wait, wait! Let's meet from now. What? I'm busy, so I'm afraid I won't be able to. You should take a break once in a while. From now, I'll support you. There's no need for you to do that. I'd like to concentrate on my work right now. So in order for you to concentrate on your work, I'll help take care of everything around you. No, thank you. It's really unnecessary. You should take care of your boyfriend instead. Oh, if that's the case, you don't have to worry about that. It's not like I'm worried or anything. About him? I thought he was an IV, but he had failed at work and got laid off. He asked me to stay with him, but of course I completely turned him down. I don't need someone who used to be an IV with no job. Is that so? Waking up with him was the right thing to do. I can be with you. It was probably your destiny to be together like this. You're probably right. You think so? You feel the same way, don't you? Breaking up with you at the time was the right thing to do. Yeah, we broke up once and we were able to see how important we are to each other. I'm glad I was able to clearly see how cruel a woman you are. To be honest, I don't know why I was going out with someone like you. To me, it's only a dark past that I want to forget. How can you say such a thing when I care about you this much? But I think the one thing that I'm grateful for is that I've found this job. Other than that, I just want to forget you. So, you'll have to excuse me. I was receiving a lot of messages from Tina even after that. I was ignoring her for a while, but she was so annoying. It would be a burden on me if she continued doing this any longer. In order for her not to contact me ever again, I knew I had to do something. Hey, Jesse, I haven't received any replies from you, but I'm not going to give you up. I don't intend to get back together with you, Tina. You finally replied. Are you still mad about what happened in the past? It's not that I'm mad. It's just that you cheated on me and chose a different guy. And if it doesn't work out with him, you want to come. Don't you think that's improper? Do you really think you can be trusted again? You may be right, but I was worried too. You still should have back then, and I couldn't see the future at all. Is my future going to be okay if I continue to have a relationship with you? I was thinking maybe there's someone better for me. Back then, I thought you were the only woman for me. It's not as if I wasn't thinking about the future at all either. I knew you were worried about a lot of things too. But I was still worried. I finally realized it after spending time apart. You are the only one for me after all. Please let me have another chance. That's impossible. After breaking up with you, I've been able to do a lot of things. I can cook, do the laundry, and even clean. I'm also very good with giving massages. Nope. I can do those things on my own. Even if I couldn't, I wouldn't ask you anyway. Why not? Do you have a girlfriend by any chance? I'm too busy. I can't right now. Then it'll be perfect. You can treat me like a housekeeper at first. If I do things around the house for you, you'll have more time to concentrate on your work. If I'm near you, I can comfort you too. In that case, I want to see what you look like now. I haven't seen you once after we broke up. I wouldn't want you to be extremely fat. You're so mean. Of course I wouldn't be extremely fat. 
to a dating app. I've registered it for you. Ah, uh, dating app? We're developing apps at my company. And we have dating app too. That app is popular and has quite a lot of subscribers. I'm sure you'll find someone you'd like too. Don't register without asking me. Don't think that I'm like the others who do online dating to hunt men. But if you want to find a rich guy who wants to get married, I think this kind of thing is the most efficient way. You should use what you can. I can't believe how you make me sound as if I'm only interested in money. Well, no matter how you look at it, you are only interested in money. I just simply want to become happy. What's wrong with that? I don't think you'll ever find happiness if you're okay with hurting someone else to find your own. I haven't hurt anyone. At least I was hurt by you. I'm sure your ex-boyfriend that got laid off was hurt pretty bad too. I mean, just when he needed you the most, you ended up disappearing on him like that. How can you expect me to believe in someone who does things like that? It's your fault to make me worry. A real man would protect the woman he cares about, don't you think? Yeah, any guy would protect the woman he cares about. But women should also cherish their partners if they want it to be loved. You think you feel good picturing your ex-girlfriend, don't you? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Why don't you leave me alone and update your profile on the app? Do you really think I'm going to use the app? I'm definitely going to find a man that's richer and more good looking than you. You can always do that if it's only finding someone. I'll be praying for you that the rich and good looking guy will choose you. I'm definitely going to make you regret it. Even though I'm richer at this point, don't be servile just because you don't have money. I can't believe you. You're the lowest. You have such a bad personality. True, but you said these words to me a long time ago. Don't ever contact me again. A couple months later, I suddenly got curious. When I confirmed the dating app that Hina had visited, I saw that her account was fully active. Her profile was even updated, which made me crack up a little. Whether or not she catches a nice rich guy is up to her. But I'm sure it'd be quite difficult with a profile that says all lies. 